Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you guys a little update on Bitcoin. Guys, are we going to see 3100? Are we going to test that bottom? That's what I want to know. I want you guys to put it down low. I've been loving to hear all your guys' comments, inputs, all that. I love to see it, guys, because it just gauges the market and what's going on, the feel. So if you guys could, leave it down low, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. So guys, it's going to be quicker today. You know, there's not a ton to go over, but there's one thing that must happen if we want to continue an upward run for Bitcoin. So guys, what I'm looking at today, we need to get back up within this trend line. If we do not get back within this trend line, guys, we had to close yesterday on this big, gnarly, long day candle. Do you see how I talked about that close? I said if it closes there, we're going to be in trouble. So we close below this trend line, guys, and a lot of times you'll just fall straight from there. Other times you'll fall down, you'll find some like consolidation in here, then you'll come back up, you'll test this again, then you'll fall back down, or you'll try to get back up within this trend line and close. So the best thing we could have today is for this candle to get back up and close within this trend line right here. Guys, I don't believe it's going to happen, just in my opinion. What we would need right now, we would almost need to pull off this tweezer bottom and have this close. Even if we didn't get up above this trend line, this would have to close as some type of harami pattern where this smaller body is inside this larger body. And guys, that harami pattern or harami, whichever way you'd like to say it, means pregnant in Japanese. So you have your long body and then you have the short body and it's just like a pregnant woman. So that's something that's very that, that you should study. Look into that harami pattern, really research, and I'll do a video on it soon, guys. But with that pattern, you always want confirmation. There's some patterns you don't need confirmation, like a bullish engulfing pattern on massive volume. You don't need any further indication the price is going to be going up. But with this Harami pattern, you need that follow through. So we're going to see where we form today or if this could form into some type of a doji and then we get follow through tomorrow. But right now, I definitely would not be looking at longs. Just my opinion, guys. This isn't financial advice. I would not be looking for a long play to try to get back up in this trend line. That's going to be very hard to do. Now, say we do get up in there, guys. Our overhead targets are going to be that 37.56, which is going to be hard to get up above. And then ultimately, if we can get up above that, it's going to be this top where we have all this resistance right up here, right in this range. So let me draw a little horizontal line for us. So right here, guys. Around that 41, 4200 is going to be massive, massive overhead resistance for us. So for me to keep seeing us go up in the shorter term, we need to get up above the trend line. We need to close in some type of Harami pattern or with the doji here. So like a Harami cross, if that cro closed as a doji, we would need to see that. And we would need to see this on volume, guys. And we also have the moving averages that are coming down over top of us right now the 20s pointing down the 50s down over top of us so you know you have the 20 basically cross over the 50 now they're kissing here but that's what i did not want to see yesterday was that close right there guys that that indicates that most likely especially since it looks like we closed right around here guys or maybe a little lower than that there's not a lot of support or anything over here so we could very well fall down to this you know 3200 dollar area very very fast so this is what I'm going to watch, guys, paying close attention to the trend line. I'm not going to get into a ton ton else, guys, just due to the fact that there's not a lot to talk about. We're just going to have to wait and see. You know, we can throw a Fibonacci on here, kind of see where we're at in terms of retracement. And, guys, we also lost with that candle the 0.618 of that move. Another bad sign. So... Like I said in the other video, guys, have your parachutes ready, all that type of stuff, but we're going to have to see. This This what's forming here, this either doji or, or the harami pattern, whatever we're going to have here, is not forming on great volume either. So we would need big volume. We'd need basically like a harami cross or something on this type of volume here, if you guys can see that. But, you know, guys, if you could like, subscribe, all that, if you like these quick Bitcoin updates, I don't want to keep you here forever like a lot of people do where they do 30-minute videos and all that, guys. I want to get the information out to you. You do what you want with it. Research, study, but prepare for the upside. So our upside target would be around that 3807. And our downside target is most likely, guys, if, if today closes, you know, even below this candle right here if we have a close down in here i'm most likely going to see around that 3200 and there's going to be a lot of volatility there so there's going to be a lot of potential for people to you know potentially go short and make some money or be able to you know buy if we're going to form some type of a double bottom down here as well because that's something that's in the cards as well guys if we come back down form a nice double bottom on this type of a volume where we have that increasing volume 
then that could be something to look at. But right now I'm not convinced by this right here, guys. We'll have to wait to see how it closes, and maybe I can get another video once it closes and talk about that. But just to repeat myself, upside targets, 3807, which I don't believe we're going to be up there, guys. We'd have to get above that trend line as well. And then downside targets would be around that 3220. Somewhere right in there, and we can see if that bottom holds. But, you know, guys, keep all this stuff in mind. Pay attention. Keep your eyes peeled. And uh, we're at 3584 right now. Remember, anything can happen in this market. A big whale could come in right now. And even though this isn't textbook, you know, we're below the trend line. All this, a big whale could come in and, and push us up. You know, that's, that's how this game works. So be prepared for both sides, my friends. God bless each and every one of you. And leave down in the comments what you're doing. I would love to hear it.